the car. On our way. And outside, and I got down in Florida. <laughs> Tommy nasty. Oh, it's a I'm sure. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, finally made it out. We got Tommy, we got Alex in the back. We are in the Everglades, South Florida. Yeah, pretty much a rite of passage. Somehow, I haven't done it. None of these guys have done it, so uh, we're excited. It's been an absolute grind of a day, starting with a massive snowstorm in the morning, delayed flights, uh, rental car fiascos. It was a whole thing. But anyway, after a full day of travel, we're finally out here. We're gonna start with some road cruising, see if we can tick off a couple snakes before uh, really getting into the trip tomorrow morning. So we'll let you know how that goes. Hey, first snake of the glades. There we go, nice big brown water snake. Look at his face, it's kind of gnarly. Yeah, well look how look those eyes. thin the face gets. That is a big snake, damn. It's gonna be smelly tonight, boys. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, that head is so cool. There we go. <laughs> oh, he you. Uh, he's just kind of flipping out. I don't think he's trying to bite at all. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, he's a... I'm Look surprised at that he's so Is the video decent? Dude, he's Yo, yeah, this is nice. Will's about to get another brown water. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> Will's doubled up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I hope this footage is decent. I'm not the camera guy. This is a pretty like small beam I notice. Yeah, should I let it go? Oh god, I'm gonna reek. <laughs> yeah, that smells so bad. Yeah, look at that. Stinky as anything. <laughs> Very pretty. Cool snakes that we don't have back home, so. Yeah, that's awesome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yep. See him? Yeah, yeah, it's good. That's a pretty snake, honestly. Seriously. It kind of looks like a berm at first. Look at that. Look at that berm go. And he... Look at this guy. Hey, buddy. Have a nice night. That's the... Bard. Bard? Okay. Yeah. All right, so check this out. We just rolled up on this dead, it looks like, we'll check it out in a minute here. He's got a yellow tail too. Yeah, I think this is a dead green water. And there is a Florida cottonmouth, little one scavenging on the guts that popped out. That is crazy. I would take the snake hook or something and put that off the road. Oh, he's regurgitating it. Well, we can move. Yeah, he's gotta go anyways. We don't want him to get killed. Yeah, he's gonna get hit if he stays here. So. Now he's going this way. <laughs> All right, we're gonna him. usher this guy off the road. Beautiful little cottonmouth. So it's unfortunate to interrupt this guy's meal, but he'll get clobbered if he stays on the road like that. Here he comes right towards me. <laughs> ah! Crawl on your boot. <laughs> like Jordan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jordan with the camera. Right. Well, we'll let this guy off the road. I wanted a little phone picture, but I think I could right. take a cool... Go find the dead snake over there. Yeah. Get out of here. He's actually going to head right towards the dead snake right there. <laughs> we moved off the road, so... Hopefully he finds that, decides to eat it over there, and not right here. All right, we're gonna keep looking. Uh, we got a car coming. All right, would be lifer. Got a car coming, but dead scarlet snake. We're gonna keep moving. Dead Florida scarlet, pretty common species around here. Gotta get out of the way of this car though. All right, so uh, things got pretty flat tonight, uh, pretty quickly. We saw a dead scarlet snake, but um, yeah, not much else moving and we're figuring we better get a good night's sleep after that long day of travel. So we uh, got the tents set up here behind me and uh, 
We're gonna get to it in the morning, so I will see you guys then. All right, so uh, got up bright and early. The sun is just coming up now, and uh, we are out to do some hiking. I think that's the first move of the day. Reasonably chilly night. I'm expecting to see some snakes basking, or at least that's what we're hoping. And uh, we're gonna get after it. I hope we see some stuff. Oh, and there's boards oh. under it. The lizard. Here, hold that up. Yep. Flip the toilet well. The to so Mark said, he said, hey, I'm oh, there's a lot of ants. <laughs> Boy, I watched the fire ants there. Is that a toilet bowl? Give it a go. <laughs> Could be a mud snake in the Oh, that's the oh, oh, it's heavy. No, no, we're good. It's too wet. Oh, God, Tommy. Alex spotted the first snake of the day. One we've already seen. Pretty dusty looking little juvenile Florida cottonmouth. Actually, that guy's in shed. So, um, makes sense that he'd be out trying to soak up as much sun as he can get. But, uh, we're just gonna leave this guy as is. And we're gonna keep hiking around. I'm hoping we start to see more snakes. We just hiked up this absolute unit of a cottonmouth. This thing is gargantuan. Holy smokes. I'd like to put like my foot next to it at some point. To... Damn, that head is so big. I've never seen a cottonmouth that big. Here's my foot and here's this cottonmouth. Like, what? Giant. Absolute giant. Oh my god. It's huge. Holy smokes, that was cool. Uh, we, you know, I've obviously seen cottonmouths before, but that was the biggest cottonmouth I have seen in my life, by far. I wish we got a better look at it, but it was pretty obscured and it, and it ducked into the water when we got closer, so, you know. Is what it is, but cool snake. Definitely appreciative of that. We're gonna keep hiking. This is a cottonmouth skeleton that we just found. So something predated it. But check out these fangs right here. It's got a double fang on this side. You can see it's also got normal teeth. But look at that. I wouldn't want to get poked by those if this were a live snake, but we're gonna just leave it as it is and keep hiking. All right, so uh, we are nearing the end of almost a 10 mile hike and we have seen three snakes. There's an Everglades racer that got away and then you guys saw the two cottonmouths. So things are slow to say the least. It's cool out here, but um, we're gonna go back to the car and reassess because I think we gotta scheme up a different plan here. All right, so we got some lunch and uh, we drew up some new strategies for the rest of the afternoon, evening, and night. And uh, right now we're cruising. I'm gonna let you guys know if we roll up on anything. Okay, first snake in hours. This is a little cottonmouth, which we have already seen on this trip, so. Um, Definitely a welcome sight, but something we have definitely seen, so <laughs> hoping for other stuff. Gonna make sure this guy gets off the road as another car approaches. So looks like he is on his way. See a little buddy. Alright, Alex and Tommy with the next snake of the night here. Oh, look at this little cutie. <laughs> yeah, Ring's cute. Cute little cotton mouth. Get out of here. I think I got that on recording. 
Keep moving. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Keep, keep ushering him. Yep. Come on. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. Keep going. It's not a dog. <laughs> yeah, acting like it's a cat. Let's do those little baby steps. Doing, doing God's those. work out here. Alright, I think he's Nice good. job. Yep. That's one man. Yeah. Eating good. I think the faces are so funny on the green waters. They're like yeah. so round or like like vertically round, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's neat. Oh, wait, there's oh, three. Yeah, there's three. <laughs> Did you not notice the three? <laughs> well, I want to get a picture of that. That's kind of neat. Yeah. One. Oh. Two, three. Look at the tail paddling. That's so neat. That's cool. Tommy, give me a uh, a mid weekend report. How's the how's the weekend going? Um, it's going all right. You know me. I try to keep high hope. Yeah. How's the night been? Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. don't want to say less than productive, but we're doing okay. At least we're not getting skunked. Yeah. All right. All right. Favorite find of the trip so far? Oh, probably the first South Florida caught Emma. Really? That was really pretty. All right. That was a good my life as well. Cool, cool, cool. Alex, put your hand next to that guy. It's my thumb. <laughs> Wait, he hissed at me. So we almost just stepped on this big cottonmouth. It's over there now because it saw us and kind of tweaked out and moved away. That's on its way. We've seen plenty of those, so we don't need to move or we don't need to mess with it, but good sign to finally be seeing some snakes again. Yeah, he's on the move. And he's going right towards that stump that we we're looking at. Right near this big cottonmouth right here on the same kind of stump system, we've got this massive Cuban tree frog. Check that guy out. These guys are an invasive species, uh, and they're pretty voracious. They eat all sorts of stuff, like lizards and even little snakes and things. But anyway, we're going to leave them alone. We've seen a handful of those. Alex just spotted this pygmy. Finally, it looks like it's drinking water or something. Let me zoom in on this. It's really pretty. my first dusky pygmy rattler honestly mine too doesn't that disappoint it's pretty awesome looking all right so unfortunately this guy's kind of coiling up and moving off into the bushes but we're gonna keep hiking I'm hoping we see different individuals and uh, we can definitely come back tomorrow and See if this guy's out, but pretty neat. Oh yeah, look at that, he's just coiling up. Here's a uh, sleeping brown anole right here. Another invasive down here in Florida. I'm sure this is no surprise or not new information to most viewers, but down in Florida there's a lot of invasive species, so. These guys are pretty much out competing the native green anoles, and there's actually a second right here too. Hanging out, so. Neat, not really much we can do about them at this point, but uh, interesting to see. All right, more fun with invasives. We're just playing with some house geckos. We've got this cool white one, and then this is a more typical looking one. You can see the two together. Oop, that one's on my pants. My bare feet. <laughs> well, that's kind of neat. I kind of want a picture of that. <laughs> Come on, buddy. They're not quite chameleons, but they'll do. <laughs> <laughs> the poor man's chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I mean, come on. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, you gotta appreciate them. I mean, they're invasive as hell, and they're... <laughs> common but cool all right so uh it's been a long day it's been
been a long two days. Lots of, I don't know, lots of complications, lots of hiking, not too many snakes. It's all some cool things though. Nice to end the night on that pygmy and a couple fun invasive geckos and things like that. So cool stuff. Um, excited to get after tomorrow. That'll probably be the next video. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching and I will catch you on next week's video. Thank you.